Hi parents, this is a video just for you for a common issue I think you will have happen at home as we begin distance learning. And that is how do you help your child when they say, I don't know what the teacher wants me to do or I don't understand the assignment. I run into this in my classroom and I just wanna walk you through how I help my students to find the answers to those types of questions. Question one is ask, what do the directions say? Oftentimes, middle schoolers skip right over directions, don't even bother to read them. So having them find the directions and reading them out loud, about 80% of the time will solve the problem and they'll say, oh, that's what they want me to do. Now, if they're still confused, the next question is, what part of the directions do you understand? And this just helps them to break down the directions into different pieces. The third question is, what parts of the directions do you not understand? And this just helps them to focus in on where is their confusion. Sometimes they will remember as they are discussing what they don't understand that the teacher has put in directions uh, or explanation of that skill uh, somewhere, and they can then go refer to that. Now this next part, if, if a child is still confused and says, I really don't get what my teacher wants me to do after you've asked them that series of questions, uh, I'm not asking you to turn into a history, science, math, English, PE, and elective teacher and try to Google or find the answer. Instead, I would encourage you to just ask your child, uh, what will you ask your teacher? The teachers are completely available to help, not 24 hours a day, but we are going to be available to help answer these questions. Um, and so just asking them, what will you ask your teacher can help them to focus in and clarify the question they'll ask. I repeatedly am getting emails from students who just say, I don't know what to do. I don't know which assignment we're talking about. I don't, understand, I don't know which part of the assignment we're talking about. And I don't know what do they not understand how to do, like all of it or just part three, step two. So if the clearer they are in their question, the better my answer is to them. So most teachers are taking uh, uh, questions through Synergy email. For me, just for my class, I am doing Synergy email, but a faster way for students to um, ask me a question is simply to go to uh, the Q&A document in the Google Classroom for my class. And they just put their question in there, turn in the document, and I put the answer and return it. So thank you for all that you are doing as we begin distance learning. Um, I know that this was not in any way how we saw the month of April and May going. Um, and I just appreciate what you are doing and how much you are helping your child as we begin this process. Please remember, you can always email me through Synergy um, if you have questions um, or need uh, any kind of information from me, I am available for you. Um, and I do appreciate what you are doing uh, as we experience this adventure called distance learning together. And please remember, we will get through this together.